Hello, welcome to Systems 2001, Systems Engineering Concepts. My name is Brian Smith and I will be the instructor for the course this semester. I'm sorry I can't be with you today. I'm actually in Washington, D.C. at a conference presenting some research that we've been doing. And uh, I will be back on Thursday. So I wanted to record a, a brief introductory video to provide you a little bit of an overview of the course and to get things started. So let's go ahead and, and move forward. The agenda for, for this video will be first to introduce myself um, and the other instructors for the course, to introduce the course itself, we'll give you a little bit of a background on the course, talk about some of the logistics for the course, um, present homework one to you, which is something that will be uh, due on Thursday, and finally to, uh, to ask you to complete a quiz. So, instructors, again, my name is Brian Smith. Um, you see here my office is in Olson 113A, and I will be holding office hours on Friday mornings. We're also by appointment, and uh, I, hope, I think you will find that um, I am very, very accessible. If you need help, please do stop by um, if my door is open, and I, uh, I'm more than happy to help you. Or you can send me an email to make sure you can catch me, um, and certainly I will be available on the, the Friday office hours. We also have a teaching assistant team. Um, this is a group of students um, who have taken the course in recent years who can help you uh, work through the course. Uh, they will hold office hours on Tuesdays from 3 to 4.30 and Wednesdays from 12 to 1.30. They will also be holding them in Olson 113, actually in the area just outside of my office. Finally, um, we will be using Piazza uh, this semester as a way to coordinate communications. Um, I do ask uh, that you, and I'll give you more details on Thursday, but um, I do ask that you use this as much as possible. What we find is this is a good way to help um, facilitate class communications, and also you'll find that in many cases you can, um, there's questions that have already been answered that you might have. So uh, more detail on that on Thursday. A little background on myself. Um, I, uh, I hold a master's degree in system engineering, actually from here at UVA. Um, I have been working in the area of transportation system engineering for about 20 years, and particularly in the area of advanced technology and transportation. You might have heard all the discussion these days about connected and automated vehicles. Um, this is an area that really requires the application of system engineering. So um, I do practice uh, system engineering on a, on a daily basis in my uh, research and my consulting work. So I'm looking forward to teaching this class. Uh, I haven't taught it for several years, but it is a class I've taught before and I do really enjoy teaching uh, Systems 2001. Okay, a quick introduction to this class. Um, I know that most of you are um, first years who are, are taking this course uh, prior to declaring a major. I expect that many of you will be declaring System engineering is a major. Um, there also are students in, in the class from other majors. Um, and I'm glad to have all of you in here. Uh, this is a, a class I think is, it is an important foundation for the curriculum in system engineering. So for those of you who are going to major in systems, this really sets the foundation for all the courses you're going to learn to um, take in the future where you deal with things like uh, different analytic skills, different modeling skills, etc. This kind of helps you put all that together and understand how it works. Um, this also is a course that is very useful for other engineering disciplines. Um, many have commented in the past that this really helps you to approach problems from a different perspective and helps you to apply uh, your disciplinary uh, specific knowledge more effectively by, uh, by the systemic approach to problem solving. So you see here um, that the first, slot, first bullet, excuse me, describes um, really what we want you to take away from this class after you've graduated from UVA. What, what do you, we hope that you come, you look back and understand that this class helped you to be able to really take a systematic approach to open-ended problems, uh, work effectively with stakeholders, um, identify the problem and solutions. Uh, in many cases, really formulating the problem is the biggest challenge in any engineering undertaking. Um, and also how to thoughtfully apply analytical skills. So this is what we're shooting for. Um, and uh, this is what we'll frankly be practicing all semester long. A few logistics. Um, the, the current prerequisites for this course are APMA 1110 and 2120. 
Um, for those of you who have not had 2120 yet, um, this really should not be a problem. In fact, we're looking to change the prerequisites to, to delete 2120. So I did want to uh, assure you that you will be fine in this course uh, with, with, uh, without having taken 2120. There is a textbook for the course. It's uh, referred, listed here as How to Do Systems Analysis. Um, it was written by uh, John Gibson, Bill Shear, uh, William Gibson, and Mike Smith. Um, many of you will know that uh, Bill Shear and Mike Smith are, are faculty here today in the System Engineering Department. Um, John Gibson, also known as Jack, actually was the uh, founder of the System Engineering Department here at UVA. So this is a, a book that is very important to how we approach system engineering at the University of Virginia. I do encourage you to, to, to um, purchase this book and retain it as a reference um, for your future careers, particularly for those of you who are, are planning to, to major in system engineering. I will post some other readings from time to time in CoLab on, in the resources section. And I do want to again mention that really everything for the course will be handled through CoLab and Piazza. Um, all communications, all assignments, uh, lecture notes will be posted there, etc. So uh, please do go there for information for the course. In terms of grading, um, there will be quite a bit of group work this semester. Um, you see here, there are a number of cases. Um, I expect there will be five cases this semester. Um, and these cases you will work on in teams. And uh, they will be assessed as group with group grades. You also have individual homeworks. Um, that in most cases will support you and help you to prepare for cases. Those again are to be done individually. You see this, this work makes up uh, the majority of, the, of your grade. We will have three tests this semester. Um, each test is worth 12% of your grade. There will be no final exam, um, which I'm sure is a major disappointment to a lot of you. Um, and finally, uh, what we refer to as class citizenship is a big part of your grade. Um, we do expect participation. Um, an important part of success is showing up, so we really expect that you will be in class participating um, each and every class. We also will be doing peer evaluations for the cases where you will evaluate uh, your teammates and uh, the, the grade that you earn from your teammates will be part of your overall grade as well. So this is a, a, an overview of how we're going to grade this semester. Finally, a few things um, administratively. Um, again, we do expect that you're going to be in class and you will participate. That is an important part um, to this course. From an honor um, code perspective, for case studies, certainly you're going to be working <laughs> collaboratively with your teammates. Um, and I do want to mention that we'll be assigning teams um, and the teams will be changing each case. Um, I do not want you to collaborate between teams. Um, this is something I want you to work on within your team um, for each case. Finally, for individual assignments, um, I do, uh, do expect these to be individual work and that there will not be collaboration with other students there. Um, finally, it is important um, to be sure when you write reports, say for your cases, etc., when you cite work of others, for example, use someone else's figure or photo, Make sure you cite this work. This is a very important thing to get in the habit of today. Um, as a professional, uh, without doing so, it's really plagiarism, and, and it's important to you as you develop your, yourself into an engineering professional that you get in the habit of doing this. Finally, you do have um, a homework waiting for you on CoLab. This is due before class on Thursday. Um, please note that all assignments are due before you walk into class the day that they're due. So at 9.30 in the morning, most things will be due on Thursdays. I've tried to set the schedule to where that will be the case. Um, one of the cases we will work with this semester will be with uh, a real client here in Charlottesville, and that is with the Habitat for Humanity of Greater Charlottesville. Um, to help prepare for the first case, I am asking that each of you individually, um, uh, this is a scenario that you've been, you're being presented with. Um, we, you have a meeting scheduled for Friday, this is, this is certainly not actually true, it's just uh, the scenario. And your supervisor has asked you to conduct some background research to prepare for this meeting. She has requested a two-page maximum, and I do mean maximum, um, it cannot be longer than two pages, a memo that provides a brief description of the goals of the organization. And also, she wants to identify the most significant threat and opportunity to the organization. In other words, 
what really um, what are things that really could uh, get in the way of meeting the goals and what are opportunities to go further with the goals. So please prepare this um, for Thursday um, and turn it in on Colab. Finally, uh, after viewing this video, um, please do go and complete quiz January 15th on Colab and uh, this must be done no later than the beginning of our next class. Um, and again, we will be doing having quizzes after most lectures just to kind of help reinforce major points um, from the course or from, the, from that particular lecture, excuse me. And finally, I, I would like for you to read chapter six in your textbook prior to the next class. Um, again, this, uh, this it, it might seem odd that we're jumping to chapter six, but chapter six actually provides kind of a synopsis of the overall uh, system methodology. So the idea here is that we're going to jump into that first, give you a you know, brief look at the whole methodology, then we'll go back throughout the semester and work through the particular steps in more detail. So that is where we are. Um, again, I'm sorry I can't be with you today. Uh, I do look forward to uh, meeting with you in person next um, on Thursday. And uh, um, I hope you have a good couple of days. Thanks.